Hi, this is Michael Dougal with Remax Premier. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this short message where I'm going to share with you how the legalization of cannabis will affect our real estate market here in Toronto. Now, the two rules you should know about are that number one, individuals age 19 or elder are allowed to legally possess up to 30 grams of marijuana. And secondly, that individuals can grow up to four plants per household. Now that's regardless of how many individuals are occupying the property, you can grow up to four plants. Now, how will this affect our economy? On paper, the legalization of cannabis will provide an immediate boost to our economy. A recent report done by TD expects our gross domestic product to rise by $8 billion by 2020 as a result of the legalization of cannabis. And secondly, uh, the government says that regulation will allow $840 million in the first year to be earned as a result of taxing marijuana smokers. All right, let's talk about how it's going to affect our real estate market here in Toronto. And I want to bring your attention to a study done in Colorado where after they moved to the legalization of cannabis, it was found that there was an average 6% increase in housing values with even more appreciation in areas that were closer to marijuana stores. Now, how many stores are there going to be and where will they be in Toronto? We don't know that just yet. From my experience in selling real estate over the years, property which were grow ups which had marijuana growth inside sold for significantly less. Now insurers associate the growing marijuana with very structural damages because of moisture and because of high humidity. A a recent recent survey done by online broker Zucasa found that nearly half of all respondents would reconsider purchasing a property if they knew that it had been used for marijuana growth even legally. Now here's something very interesting is that condo corporations are able to create their own rules and across Toronto, hundreds of condos have banned residents from smoking and growing cannabis inside their individual units and on balconies. So this will be something very interesting to monitor, whether or not there's a substantial difference between the appreciation or depreciation of condos which have the rules that you can grow marijuana and condos which don't have the rule that you can grow marijuana. Um, Under section 58 of the Condominium Act, Condo corporations can create new rules that promote the safety, security, or welfare of the owners and prevent unreasonable interference. And we're starting to see it. A lot of condominium corporations are banning the legal use of growing marijuana in that specific project. So I hope all this information was helpful. I love comments. I love feedback. So leave your comment below. Click subscribe if you haven't already. If you can think of anyone that may as well benefit from from this information, just forward the email over to them or copy and paste the link. And as always, if you have questions about buying or selling, maybe regarding this topic, call me. My number is 416-671-5218. It's Michael Dugal with Remax, and I'll look forward to seeing you next time.